I love the pan. The frying pan, or skillet, is the perfect weapon in my mind for many reasons. Not only does it always get random crits, but it's also just so perfect. It's featured in many, many games, and oddly, it becomes a meme in many game communities independently from each other. Not to say that the communities themselves are wholly responsible, the developers typically have a hand in it too. In TF2, the developers made bacon grease and more importantly, the coveted golden frying pan. I mean, you could of course argue that your shitty factory new unusual strange elite grade is worth more like the little nerd you are, but you can't deny in terms of reach and prestige, no other weapon in the whole game compares to that of the golden frying pan. In PUBG, it's of course become known that you can deflect bullets by holding it and swinging it at the air like a maniac. And if you wear it on your body, you can do other things while it literally saves your ass. <laughs> It's become a bit of a meme, really, as is often the case with the frying pan. I'd call it a widespread meme, but I don't think the word gives it enough glory. See, the pan has stayed irrelevant and humorous throughout generations of games, players, and communities. While memes, like plagues, burn bright and die out soon, the embers of the pan have stayed lit and hot for over a decade. It's really hit that sweet spot on the scale where it's not silly enough to be stupid and obnoxious, but also not serious enough to be a oh, yeah. trench shovel or a combat knife. In doing research for this video, I asked a ton of people what they thought of the frying pan. I got lots of answers, but the one that really stuck in my mind was someone saying that they just liked the idea of going to a battlefield with a frying pan. And I was struck by this because I really agree with it and it's something I hadn't thought about. There's something about it, like being the underdog. Now, it's often pretty good in shooters for, like, no reason, but it's still not, you know, a gun. You have guns at your disposal, and picking a cooking utensil over that is honestly just hilarious and instantly makes you the underdog. Even if you have a thousand hours and the guy you're trying to kill has ten, you're still the underdog with the damn pan. It promotes a very casual playstyle. If you die, it doesn't matter because you weren't trying anyway, and if you kill someone then you feel like God's gift to gaming. Now, I won't deny how embarrassing it can be when you die to a frying pan. Depending on the person you are, you can either laugh and think it's hilarious, or get very, very disappointed in yourself. I'm not gonna sit here and try and articulate why it's funny to see some jackass running around with a frying pan, so I won't. Because you know why. It's just stupid. Like I mentioned before, it has the luxury of being surprisingly good in most games for no reason. It has the same stats as the Mithril Warhammer in RuneScape. It's a fucking frying pan, you cook eggs in it. In TF2, it's a common joke that the frying pan has a hidden attribute that says it always crits. This is actually only partially true, because it always crits, but only if your enemy is in frames 1 through 12 of whatever animation is playing. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. But seriously though, it does always crit. I love using the pan in dead cells, because it always crits when your enemy is facing you. You basically just throw tactics out the window and go all fucking monkey mode on some monsters. I think in all multiplayer games, the frying pan is just so innocent. Even the ear rape meme bit. Now this is for sure more of a TF2 and Left 4 Dead 2 thing, but the frying pan is loud. Like, actually loud. It's basically ear rape, and I have to commend the TF2 developers for having the balls to put that into their game, lest they risk hurting the ears of their protected fan base. As I write this script, I'm starting to realize just how stupid this whole pan thing is, in all games. I sound like I'm drooling onto my mic talking about loud equals funny, but I'm gonna defend this shit till I'm blue in the face. There's nothing wrong with turning off your brain and laughing while you smack some people with a frying pan, or annoy your teammates with the sound it makes. And screw you if you think this isn't intellectually stimulating enough. Perhaps you'd like some actual tactics so your big brain has something to do. The frying pan can do more than just smack and attack. I mean, it can, you know, cook shit. But that's lame. In the Dead Rising games, you can still beat the shit out of zombies, but you can also heat the pan up and burn their faces off like a shitty Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> As I already mentioned in PUBG, you can wear it as a butt shield to save your ass. Which is pretty funny on its own, but it's made even more so by the fact that this was never intended for that by the developers. But what about real life? Is a regular old American-made frying pan bulletproof as is? Regular cast iron frying pans? Not bulletproof at all. That's because cast iron's super hard, but it's also super brittle, which means it's really gonna explode. Yeah, don't hold your breath about blocking bullets in real life with your pan. You can still beat people to death with it, though. 
frying pans are pretty strong. Cast iron is nothing to scoff at, and especially hitting someone with the side of the frying pan like we see in TF2, lowering the surface area and condensing the force onto a smaller point. This thing is a lethal weapon. This is a mace. But I reckon you already know that, because we all encounter frying pans every single day. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that generally speaking, for most people, it's the closest thing to a weapon you hold on a daily basis. I mean sure, sometimes you pick up other things, like you might pick up a crowbar, or a wrench, or a hammer, or your life. But depending on your hobbies and occupation, you might pick up those things what, like maybe once a week? And unlike those things, I can be sure that everyone here has used and continues to use a frying pan. In lots of games, their addition is pretty natural because of how common they are, and because of how natural as a weapon they are. In Left 4 Dead 2, you find pans because you're going through yeah. houses. In Earthbound, Paula uses it because, again, it's just a common thing and it's a hard-hitting item, which is how it first appeared in games. Now, according to my research, and by the way, I did scour the web, it's not exactly easy to find a list of games with frying pans, the early the earliest game to feature a frying pan was Alone in the Dark 2 in 1993. An early survival horror game that I'm sure you've heard of that used the pan not because it was funny but because it was fitting. Soon after was Earthbound in 1995, then uh, Attack of the Mutant Penguins and uh, P.O.'d. I don't know why, but something about the frying pan gives these weird obscure games massive boners. Like these games are just stupid, they're not even trying to be funny, they're just trying to be acid trips. Honestly, I forget where I even found them. Oh uh, yeah. From what I understand, there's a bunch of penguins walking around. They buy tickets and go into a transformation booth where they become evil new penguins. And from there, they go to Doom Scale. Yeah, the Doom Scale. They jump in the mouth and then appear on the scale. So you gotta stop the penguins by using a weapon. This is the weirdest game I've ever played. Conker's Bad Fur Day famously had a frying pan. It was a fine game, but I was never around to see it, and the frying pan is such a weird addition like the previous games. However, it definitely leaned into the uh, more funny side of it. Since then, the frying pan has evolved into somewhat of a symbol of silliness in combat games. Because, well, it's just funny to ignore your gun and beat the shit out of people with a frying pan. Today, I'm usually surprised when a game with a large selection of melee items doesn't have a frying pan option. It's just become so normalized. The game that really popularized this idea of silliness is, of course, PUBG. Nah, I'm just joking, I just wanted to see how many TF2 fans I could piss off. Ah, ah, look at it, look at it go, look at, look at that, oh, 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 oh dear. Truly though, no game and no community can take claim of the frying pan. But what if you wanted to anyway? A few years back, the PUBG development team decided to start a lawsuit on another game studio. In the actual legal documents, and I'm not making this up, you can check the description, they said, quote, the frying pan. One very beloved aspect of creative expression in Battlegrounds is the game's iconic frying pan. Previous shooters did not include the use of a frying pan. In Battlegrounds, a character who obtains a frying pan may use it as a handheld melee weapon and also may use it as armor. I'll give them the armor one I guess, but they didn't even do that intentionally. Forget TF2, forget Left 4 Dead 2, forget basically every game I just talked about. PUBG was the first shooter to use a frying pan. Whatever though, this was years ago, they probably don't care, no, most people don't really care. And uh, with that, that about wraps up this video and re remember... Alright, hello, so it's um, it's been a good long while, just wanted to give a quick update and say that I'm back. And if you did notice my absence, then thank you for caring, that means a lot. I am aware of what happens when you leave a YouTube channel out in the sun for too long, but even if this video gets a hundred views, that's enough for me to try and get the ball rolling again. More videos are to come. And if this is the first video you've seen from me, then um, hey, I hope you liked it.